Hello friends, this video on crop production and management part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us see what is the importance of ploughing, why do we do ploughing, what is the need of loosening the soil. So the first thing is the soil becomes airy. Now when we actually plough it, what happens? More spaces get created between the soil particles. So more availability of air takes place. The soil becomes airy. It becomes more well ventilated. Now as long as the soil was not loosened, it was quite compact. So anything which is compact, so anything which is more compact, that means if the particles are very close to each other, that is called compact. So compact means less airy, whereas loose means more airy. So that means loose means the particles are quite away from each other. So let me give you an example. So let us suppose this is a room and inside this room you have so many people present. So if this particular room has, let, let us say right now you have so many people, say around 30-40 people might be there inside the room. So in that case do you think that the room will be a lot ventilated? Not really because there are so many people so it is like very compact and very congested. So it is less ventilated and it is less airy. Now, if you talk about the same room, but with people spread away from each other. So now it is not that the people are, I mean, standing one over another. So now if you see the same room, but people are like standing quite away from each other. So in this case, it is less compact. And since it is less compact, so it is more airy. So that means when the particles are a little away from each other, then they become more airy. So when the same number of particles are spread over uh, a larger distance, then they tend to become less compact and it becomes more airy. So the same thing happens with the case of soil. So in soil when you actually dig it with the with a sharp object what happens is the soil particles they tend to get loosened away from each other now when they loosen away from each other they they become more ventilated they become more airy so that is one advantage that the soil becomes airy now what happens how is it beneficial if the soil becomes more airy now if the soil becomes more airy there are a lot of advantages so one is more oxygen is available so more microorganisms can grow that is one advantage other advantage is that now when there it is more airy there are more open spaces available so here you can see here you can hardly see any open space between the people because they are like standing head to head but here if you see there are a lot of open spaces in between the people so through these open spaces the roots will be able to penetrate inside deep inside the soil so and if the roots are able to penetrate deep Deep inside it is better for the plant because the plant will be able to get better nutrients from the soil through the roots so there are quite a few advantages of airy soil so this is one thing next importance is deep penetration of roots into the soil as I mentioned just now when the soil is loosened you have more empty spaces so here you can see there is so much of empty space in this case so the roots can very well, the, the thin root hairs, they can very well penetrate deep inside the soil. And the loosened soil allow roots to get inside. Now more air, therefore the roots can also breathe better. So it is overall better for the plant. Another importance is it promotes growth of earthworms. Now, as I said, being more airy, being there is more presence of oxygen, so it promotes the growth of a lot of microorganisms as well. So, uh, organisms like earthworms, so they are called farmers' friends. Why? Because it acts as a natural fertilizer. Earthworm acts as a natural fertilizer because the castings from an earthworm they increase the fertility of the soil so because their castings contain nutrients which are useful for the growth and development of the plants so that that ways also it is beneficial that it promotes the growth of earthworms which in turn improves the soil fertility its castings contain nutrients useful for the plants so that means also it is beneficial for the plant growth it burrows in the soil allow air, water and nutrients to reach deep within the soil. Now these earthworms, they not only live on the surface of the soil, but they also burrow deep inside the soil. So that is the entire quality and texture of the soil will improve due to the presence of more earthworms. And plowing can ensure that the growth of earthworms increase. 
promotes growth of microbes again the same uh, logic behind that you, because the soil is airy so it will allow a lot of microorganisms to grow so this in turn will also help to improve soil fertility and it will also help in decomposition as we know that these microorganisms like bacteria or fungi they help in decomposing dead organisms and plants and that's how they release nutrients into the soil so now these microorganisms if you talk about mostly so when you talk about decomposition we talk about microorganisms like bacteria and fungi and they are called decomposers so what do they do they break down the dead organisms whether dead plants or animals and convert the organic matter present in them all the organic substance into inorganic minerals which act as plant nutrients so basically if had these decomposers not been there in that case all the dead bodies of plants and animals would have got accumulated on earth so but instead of that they are getting converted into something which is useful for the growth of plant and that is amazing so that means also microbes are something which are beneficial in this case so a presence of a lot of microbes in the soil is going to benefit in the growth of plants and this process of plowing helps in growing more and more microbes. Increases soil fertility. So we already from the above four points we can see that the fertility of the soil will improve, increase or improve. Well, so this increase in fertility can happen by many different ways. For example, the loosened soil might have more air, so more microbes. Now, when more uh, microbes are present, then more humus will be formed as a result. Soil fertility will increase. Again, it can also happen that the soil gets loosened, so there are more organisms like earthworms, so they add nutrients which are beneficial for the plant into the soil. That means also the soil fertility increases. Nutrient rich soil is made available to the plants. Now, if you look inside the soil, you will see that there are many different layers of soil which are present. So, there are various layers. So, this is called as soil horizon. Now, the plants are able to reach only up to the top layers of the soil horizon, and therefore, the plants are able to utilize the organic matter and minerals which are present only on the top layers. But the plants can utilize only a few centimeters of the depth because plants are not able to go really, really deep inside. So as long as up to the depth till which the plants are able to reach, I mean, it is just a few centimeters. But what we can do is when we plow, what we do is with that sharp object, we tend to uh, just mix the layer of soil so as a result sometimes what happens is the upper layers get replaced by the lower layers so basically you are mixing the lower and the upper layers so sometimes the lower layers also come on the upper side and as a result the plant can utilize the nutrients present in that layer so that means it helps the mineral rich layers to be brought up so the mineral rich layers are brought up and this is how plants can utilize more and more minerals and that's how it can uh, have better growth and development so these are some of the reasons which tell us that how plowing is very very important so without plowing we cannot have a good crop productivity because as long as the soil is not uh, uh, good enough soil doesn't have that quality in that case your cultivation is not going to be good Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.